Okay, this is a stock valuation problem where we're going to use a specific version of the dividend discount model. And to uh, determine which version, let's start by writing down what we know. So we know that the stock is going to pay a dividend of $2.40 one period from now. And then as we move forward, uh, we know that future dividends are going to grow at a constant 2.3% percent per year and so g here is 2.3 percent and that's going to continue forever okay and so this is what we call a constant dividend growth stock and so we have a, a specific formula that we use for that it's uh, the formula for the gordon growth model mathematically this is a growing perpetuity the price that we're looking for is simply going to be the first dividend. So when I say the first dividend, I'm talking about the dividend at time one. And so the first dividend uh, divided by the discount rate, we'll call that R, minus the growth rate in future dividends. And so taking that formula to uh, the numbers that we have here, the stock price is going to be $2.40 in the numerator divided by 0.128 minus the growth rate of 0.023. And that's $22.86. And there it is. Now, at this point, I do want to make a quick note here that... The numerator in the Gordon growth model always needs to be the dividend at time one. And so if I were to uh, provide the dividend at time zero, so if I provided D zero instead of D one, so if I would have said something like 240 um, is a dividend that was just paid, that would be D zero. We would uh, have to convert that to D one in the numerator. And so another way we could write this is the following d zero times one plus g in the numerator with r minus g in the denominator and of course since you are given d one here um you don't need this version of the formula you need this one but you need to be able to make that adjustment as appropriate